we should let people who are pregnant make the decision whether or not to carry that child, to deliver that child, and to raise that child. I am here at home, sick with COVID, and caring for my two children alone. I do not need, and American women do not need, any politicians telling them when and if they should make the decisions to raise children. Americans should have the freedom, the liberty, to grow their families when they are ready to do so, not birth babies because of government mandates. Let's start with health. Rich women were more likely to suffer from physical health problems, women who had an abortion or women who were denied an abortion? Women who were denied an abortion. Women who were denied an abortion. And which women were, um, denying abortion does not just correlate with worse physical health, it also leads to financial problems. Which group of women those who received an abortion or were denied an abortion were more likely to be unemployed. For sure, those who were denied an abortion. Denied an abortion. Which group of women was more likely to live in poverty? Definitely those who were denied abortion. And which group of women was more likely to have low credit scores, to have their applications for housing or car loans denied? Those who were denied an abortion. So to summarize, women, when the decision to have an abortion was not, was taken out of their hands, when they were not able to have an abortion, to make their own decision, they had worse health outcomes, were more likely to be unemployed, were more likely to face financial problems like living in poverty or having low credit scores. Women who were denied abortions are four times more likely to live below the poverty line. They are less likely to be able to afford food and housing for themselves and their children. Ms. Gosgraves, can you explain why people who are denied abortion are more likely to have these worse outcomes than someone who obtains an abortion? If you're denied an abortion, you're not having a child based on when you actually want to. And what we know is that there's a wide range of reasons people determine that it is not the right time to have a child. We should let people who are pregnant make the decision whether or not to carry that child, to deliver that child, and to raise that child. I'm a mom. I love my three children. I know firsthand the joys and hardships of carrying, birthing, raising, and providing for children, including doing it alone, as millions of women do. That's why I believe so strongly that extremist politicians shouldn't have the power to force anyone to become a parent. The choice to give birth is not just a major health decision. It's an economic decision for an entire family, including other children that that person, that mother or parent may have. Many women experience a significant decrease in their incomes after having a child and income declines even further after the birth of additional children. Many parents are forced to leave the workforce altogether to care for their kids. When extremist politicians prevent Americans from making their own decisions, they force patients to give birth to children that they may not be able to care for, that they may not be able to protect and raise safely, and that they may force to grow up in poverty. We live, we should live, in a free society. Americans should have the freedom, the liberty, to grow their families when they are ready to do so, not birth babies because of government mandates. 